Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rich43. Hope you're good, hope you're well, guys. Yeah, it's Tuesday, so it's the Star Wars X-Wing build day, issue 32, recap. But guys, this issue might have a, a little bit of a, um, a bit of a change to it. So I might be doing something a bit different, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna bring a little bit different to this issue, rather than just going over what I've already built. So stay tuned, guys to see what I mean by that. If you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button guys and give us a big like, I would really appreciate that. And for you subscribers who are already subscribed, really appreciate you guys, love you to bits. But guys, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button and give us a big like. Without further ado guys, let's crack on with this Star Wars recap. But this one's got a little bit of a twist. Let's crack on. So we'll start looking through issue 32 magazine of the Star Wars build around X-Wing. Right, let's have a look. Alright, so you've got the Lego version there. Your own T70 models, books and games. Yeah, these are the toys, the Lego. This is going to be a lot more um, bigger than that. I promise you that, guys, when it's done. Right, coming in issue 33 next week, we've got the Last Jedi concept development, Han Solo, the Kessel Run, Upper Port Laser Cannon, and Laser Generator, and Fuselage Frame Parts. Okay, what I might do with that, you know, guys, I might take that apart for next week and build the odd frame together for you, so you ain't just looking at recaps. I might do that, keep it a bit interesting. Hot Wheels. Wow, this son's into Hot Wheels, he'd love that. You've got Jessica Parva, another little bit of content. It's absolutely freezing here in the UK, guys. It's about minus four now in the UK. Cold, very cold. Hence why I've got this hoodie on on the video, it's freezing. Right, today we're looking at the upper port laser cannon, making of the cannon. And then we're doing the extending of the frame which is the the main part where the cockpit's going to go in the future of this build. And I think that's it for this issue then, guys. Let's just turn this page. Yeah, that's what we are, are aiming for. Fuse large framework. That's cool. And I think that's it for this issue. Oh, you've got that nice little picture on the back of the mag there. That's cool. Right, so let's get back to the first instruction. Okay, so the parts, what I had in this issue, guys, back in the day, I keep saying back in the day, it was back in the day. We had laser cannon side tubes, which are those there, the laser cannon tube. I always thought that looked like a straw, <laughs> like when you have a milkshake somewhere. The laser cannon jacket, laser cannon housing, outer half, um, XWG on screws, laser cannon shoulder, laser cannon rear end cap and laser cannon front end cap and also in this issue i received lower forward fuselage side frames because that's for obviously the fuselage which i briefly told you about just right so if i bring this laser cannon over what i've done guys is taken it apart a little bit for you this is as far as i can take it apart because as you can see it's already connected with the led light if I take this off, this is a bit of a build for you. You've got the laser cannon jacket there and the laser cannon tube there. And then this little piece here was the laser cannon shoulder. Now, what it asked us to do in instruction one, you basically put that um, shoulder, the end of the shoulder into the laser cannon tube 
I just pushed in and then it asked you to get the laser cannon jacket onto the thinner end of the jacket. So basically, that's the thinner end and then you just push that on like so and then you would have a part of the, the laser cannon basically. So we'll put that to one side. Uh, instruction three and four, align the tab in the side detail with the matching slot in the side tubes, making sure the part is this way round. So these little details, as you can see there, just have to be pushed onto this other detail here, onto the side tubes. And that would have been the result by instruction four. So I'll turn that over. And instruction five, align the tab and pins in the side tubes with the matching holes in the laser cannon housing. Press the side tubes further into place. So basically, you just have to push that onto that part there. Simple as that. No glue was needed at all. And that would have been that result for that. And then that was it for the laser cannon so far in this issue. But what I'm going to do now, we'll jump ahead a bit. And we'll probably have to go over this next week or whenever it comes back. Basically, you push that over. Like so. And you got the laser cannon there. And at the end of the laser cannon, you fed this LED wire, light, whatever you want to call it, into the end like so. Push that on, and there you had the laser cannon. And then at the end of there, you've got like this little plastic clear lens. Put that on there, and that was it for the laser cannon. Now, this is probably going to come later in the issue when we put that together. So, bear with me, guys, because obviously, in this issue, all we had done, or all I had done, should I say is that but this is the finished result i'll just give you a little bit of a insight basically to where it looks which is cool and then we're going to extend in the frame right instruction one it said lay out the parts like this um noting the markings underneath that show which frame goes on the right and which goes on the left so if you can see that there you had to lay it out. Instruction two, align the left frame with the corner of the copy base, noting the locating pin near the end. So it was just about lining these two pieces of steel, these two parts, into the right place. Which I can bring over and show you the, this part now. Yeah, so it was this piece of steel, this part here, which goes all along the frame there right to the end so it's that piece you can see the two layers there it was this underneath piece here and the same on that side I don't have to be um, disorientating to see the rest of the framework on top guys because that's how far I've got so far with this but I'm just trying to show you what I did in this issue and uh, instruction three and four it told us to fit the locating pin into the hole in the cockpit base which aligns the other hole in the side frame with the screw hole in the base so yeah basically what it's telling you is to attach it there onto the base on either side and make sure you've got the right on the left the right make sure you've got on the right side basically the right and the left and then just screw it in with xw01 screws which is instruction for there so yeah, you've just basically screwing those two pieces of metal, those two parts into the base. And then instruction five and six, fit the locating pin in the end of the right hand frame into the hole and the right of the cockpit frame mirroring steps. So yeah, basically what I've just told you guys, you've just connected it to the base. And then that would have been the outcome that you got at the end of issue 32. But as you can see, way down the line that's what it looks like <laughs> which is a bit of a spoiler i suppose but 
I thought I'd do that for you guys today just to keep you interested because I'm really appreciating the views I'm getting at the minute and I know it's it can be a bit tedious just recapping these builds but we will get there soon guys where we're doing fresh issues every week but that would, that was it for issue 32. Hope you enjoyed that guys. That is it for this week's recap of the Star Wars X-Wing guys. I do hope you liked that little bit of a twist I did where I showed you a bit of screwing things back together rather than just recapping it and trying to keep this alive, this, this build guys, this recap until I get to the issues where we can just do fresh issues every week. Um, this week we did the laser cannon and I showed you what, how easy and what that was like putting the laser cannon together, the upper laser cannon that was, and making the cannon. Also in this um, issue we had the, the extending of the frame, which again, I showed you attaching that back together and screwing it together rather than just recapping it guys. I'm trying to keep you, you viewing this, um, this build guys, this recap until we get to fresh issues every week. Because I know it's a bit tedious at times, it is for me as well, just reading and recapping um, what I've already built. So I'm trying to keep it a bit more exciting for you guys. Just stick with me, stick with me till we get to the fresh issues. It won't be long now, I promise. And if you're not already subscribed, guys, smash that subscribe button and please give us a big like. would really appreciate that because it helps build the channel and grow the channel, which I'm happy how the channel's going at the minute. I'm getting subs every day, which I'm really appreciative. But guys, if you're new to this channel, my channel, please subscribe, guys. Smash that subscribe button and give us a big like. We'd really appreciate it. But for now, for the Star Wars X-Wing recap, that is it, guys. Come back next week if you want to see more. And obviously look through the playlist if you want to see any of the content on my channel. Oh, and press the bell notification, guys, if you subscribe. And you will not miss any content to the channel. Got the Titanic, Star Wars X-Wing. Um, Millennium Falcon, that's new to the channel, and also Dom's Charger, which now is, uh, what day we're on now? We're on Tuesday, so after tomorrow, which is tomorrow for the Dom's Charger, that is the last D-build I'm doing on the channel. We're up to issue 10 D-building, now we're going to rebuild it, guys, from issue 4. 1, 2 and 3, I've already recapped. Take a look at the playlist, you'll know what I'm on about. But from next week, we've got the rebuild, the normal build of the 1.8 scale Dom's Charger. So tune in for that, guys, and come back to the channel to watch that or any of the other content on my channel. Also, I've got the Z900 content if you're interested in motorbikes. Take a look for the playlist, guys, see if anything interests you. And if it does, subscribe and like. But for now, see ya. Peace.